dear, what a dream. <laughs> Goodness, I dreamt I fell out of a tree. <clears throat> Haven't you had a nap at all, Ernest? No, I haven't. You've been asleep for two and a half hours. No. Oh, we'll be in the States before we know it. And <laughs> when do we get to New York? Hmm? I don't know. I didn't notice. Well, it's been very smooth so far, hasn't it? We're not there yet, Carol. Well, it's really. Don't be so morbid, please. Are you so afraid? Afraid of flying? Afraid of dying? Of course I am. I like being alive. You really like living in this senseless, this heartless world? Well, some of it is not so heartless. What is it, Ernest? If they should get just one hint of disaster, how they'd panic. And you'd see how much heart they had for each other. Just one hint. So why should there be one hint of disaster? Why should you... Ernest, this man that you were staring at the airport, does he have anything to do with what you're saying? Is he James Brock? James Brock? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? I've waited for this moment. Two years. Ernest, listen And now to... I've got him where he can't get away. Ernest, you mustn't do anything that'll hurt you later. I'll tell you what's going to happen. 